I'm looking for Mrs. Sullivan. Who are there? What for? Sue? Kelly? How's it going? What do you want? Well, I'm fine, thanks. I really don't care how you are, Cal. What are you doing here? Have I pissed you off or something? John sent you, didn't he? Yeah, well... I heard you were splitting up. Well, you heard right. I left the bastard. And I'm not going back. So if that's what he sent you here to find out, you can get out now, OK? Is there someone else? What? Are you having sex with another man who isn't John? No. Who is it? I've just told you there wasn't anyone, didn't I? Yeah, but I know you really well and I know you're lying. You used to know me really well. But you're still lying. For Christ's sake, Callie, this is none of your business. Bit of a pattern there, maybe. Go to hell, Callahan. You think John's not going to find out? He's a symptom. Not the cause. The guy. Would that make it any better? Why are you here, Callie? He wants to make it work, John. He misses the kids. He misses you. That what he told you? Yeah. And I believed him. Don't kid yourself. He, he's just getting the idea he's going to have to give me the kids and half of his money. And he doesn't like it. Okay. Then why not settle this amicably for the kids? What do you know about amicably? You, you don't know what it's like, living with someone who disappears for weeks on end, staying out all night. The guys with tattoos, phone calls from Colombia, their bags of money and God knows what else. Hoping to Christ that my kids are going to come home okay. Wondering if that ring on the door is the police or some bastard with a shotgun. You don't know what that's like, Callie. You chose it. I've said sorry for that. Enough. He's going to pay, Callie. You tell him that. Because I know everything. Don't fight him, Sue. Can't touch me. Not anymore. I better go. I'm working nights. I'll see you around. You tell him, Callie. I'll bring the whole thing down if I have to.
Me too. Frank, you're through. That was Garland. They're in. Do you like her? No. What's she doing? She's a nuclear physicist. Yeah. Where's she from? I don't know. We only sleep together. <laughs> You're joking. No. But we always have a guy along if you know what I mean. Anyone in particular? No, we hold regular auditions. You should tell me where they are. You said you didn't like my friend. That was before I knew she was a nuclear physicist. <laughs> Smoke. Feverishly. So, what's your name? O'Brien. Okay, O'Brien. Time's up. You smoke? I don't, but thanks. Me neither. I just keep doing it. Yeah. What's your name? Joe. Yeah. Me too. Small well. Yeah. Listen, Joe, do you keep anything else for the customers? Like what? Because I'm a bit tired, you know what I mean? You get a coffee down the bar. Is that a joke? Why are you asking me? Because you're the guys that always know. Just want a drink? I'm okay, maybe later. Listen, come back tomorrow. I know someone who can show you out. Not now. It's busy. Come back tomorrow. I might just do that. Anything? You said come back tomorrow. What about yours? No worry, you could go either way. I can't see him, can you? No. Bollocks! Somewhere. Like where? I'll show you if you want. I like it here. Big cars outside. Do you come here much? Sometimes. Because I heard you can get a bit of gear, do you know what I mean? Like what? No, we like some E. A bit of coke. And then some gear to smooth it out afterwards. Just too smoke though, we're not smackheads or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay then. You better come with me. Get off! Get, Get off me! <laughs> Personalize it. So 
Christ, up to blind. seriously assaulted outside Zulu nightclub. Where are we going? My car. Where is it? You'll see. You said you wanted something. I might have something. But if you don't come with me, you'll never know, will you? Oh, I've uh, got some money. We can talk about that later. What's your name? What's my name got to do with anything? I want to know your name, what you do, and where you're from. Why? Because I say so. Okay, my name's Julie. I cut hair. I'm from Kent. I like travelling and meeting people. What are you doing down here? I was married to a guy in the army and it didn't work out. Where'd you cut hair? Who gives a shit where I work? I might like a haircut. <laughs> I don't do guys. You're getting in the car. What for? You could go for a nice drive. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, mate. This is Liverpool, not Monte Carlo. You don't like Liverpool? No, I love Liverpool. I just don't want to go for a drive, okay? Why not? Because I don't. Look, I've said what I wanted. If you're going to give me something, fine. I'm not driving anywhere. You're a busy, aren't you, love? A what? Come on, love. You know what a busy is. You're writing a book. A what? It's a miniature tape recorder with a little microphone. <laughs> like where? Maybe under your skirt there, girl. No. You don't need a bug, do you? Officers testing the insufficient. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Too good to be true, you, girl. If you touch me, I'll scream. You're plain clothes, you are, girl. And you'll be based in pride. Well, that's the course you'll be busting from someone like the widow for special duties. Let me go. You know, I really hate you all coming down here and messing with me around. See, I run a business here. People come to me. I don't stand in street corners. I don't burgle old ladies. And I don't hang around school gates. I keep yourself to myself and don't do you no harm. No. You have to stick your face in trying to trap us up, wasting everybody's time. Don't show me no respect. 